Hey, this is Mike. And if you watched any of the EV stocks or if you invest in any of the EV stocks, you're really happy right now because we're getting some explosive move upwards. Tesla was up 6.8%. And that was really like almost the laggard of the sector. I mean, look at Neo moved up 12.45%. Uh, let's look at Xping was up 30, almost 34%. And all these stocks continue moving after hours. So really incredible movement. So the question is, are we headed into a bubble here? Are we getting to a point where the, the prices are getting a little crazy? Because this is definitely, when you see all these stocks moving at these really large rates, that is sort of that. Um, and I'm not really uh, a technical analyst guy, but this is what you would call like a blow off top where you're just getting these incredible movements. Tesla's you know past its 52 week high. It's off to the races. Now, I will say this. I do think there's a chance we're going to get a pretty hard pullback in all these EV stocks soon. However, I want to caution you not to panic and sell because these stocks may go down 5, 10, 15 percent. What you want to do is watch the 50 day moving average. I always say watch the 50 day moving average. So the 50 day moving average on Tesla is 429 and the stock's at 526. So that gives you about a 20% cushion. You could go ahead and look at the 50 day moving average of whatever EV stock you're in, whether it be a Neo, Xping, Fisker, and all of that. And if these stocks drop hard but remain above the 50 day moving average, that's a dip buying opportunity. And I want to warn you now I know we're seeing green across the board, but I think we could very easily in the next week or see, start seeing a lot of red. And that's just because you get the short-term traders who say, hey, I made my 10%, I'm out. Other people see that that selling coming from the short-term traders. They get shaky hands, they get out, and then you get this cascade rolling over. But um, I just want to warn you, because the last thing you want to do is sort of panic sell when you see a lot of selling. Watch the 50-day moving average. If the stock is still technically strong, stay in the stock and maybe look for an opportunity to buy some more. Also, watch, is there any news related to the company? If a stock is, is doing really well and it begins to drop and there's no bad news from the company, there's no real reason to sell. Um, like I said, the only thing you really want to look at right now, look at news from the company, make sure that there's no bad news related to its stock drop and watch that 50-day moving average. And if the bubble does pop uh, and if it's only a little bit of a pop, then you know, you'll know you be fine. If the stock falls below the 50-day moving average, if you're a long-term holder, then you want to hold on. If you're sh more of a short-term trader, then you're going to want to sell because there's always an opportunity, you know, in some other sector. But just want to give you a little advice before we may see a rollover in these EV stocks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like uh, the video and go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options, and stock train strategies. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.